Don, your question from Al. Thank you. As mentioned, you had a role in many of the goals, almost half last game. What personal goals are you looking to achieve for this coming game? Changes, increases in the way of play? Yeah, I think um, obviously the result that we got last game is spectacular, but I also think that if you really want to get in it, picky I think that there's a lot of things that we could have fixed and I think personally for me um, I know there was a couple of balls that people put in and I think personally I need to be able to finish those because um, in future games like we might only get that one opportunity so um, being able to do it now is is important I think also hopefully in the next game I can connect a little bit more of my crosses I think just being a little bit more accurate and have a little bit more quality in, um, inside the 18. Excellent. Uh, before we go to Jonathan Tanwald, I want to make note that Mal is the eighth player in U.S. history to get 20, more than 20 goals and more than 20 assists for the age of 25. The others are Mia Hamm, Alex Morgan, Christine Lilly, Shannon McMillan, Tiffany Gilbert, Cindy Parlow, and Heather O'Reilly. So that's a pretty good group. <laughs> Let's go to Jonathan Tannewald. Go ahead. Thank you, Aaron, and thank you, Mal, for the time. Um, we were talking with Michael a few minutes ago, and he mentioned how this frontline trio of you and Katarina Macario and Sophia Smith is one that he really wants to see a lot of and give a lot of reps to. And I wonder what it means to you to have that endorsement from him and, and what it's been like playing in that trio. Yeah, I think it's been great. Um, I think it's obviously still learning, <clears throat> a learning opportunity. I think um, none of us play club together. So anytime that we get into this environment, I think it's important that we just capitalize on the opportunities that we do get to play with one another. Um, Kat obviously is a nine that can hold up the ball really well. And me and Soph are two wingers that like to get in behind, but also pop into the pocket. So. Yeah, I think so far it's been it's been good, but now it's just getting that next quality and the next um, that next little edge to us just to be on all on the same page. I think it's probably fair to say that Cat's not quite the same kind of nine as the national team has had in the past, whether it's an Alex Morgan or a Carly Lloyd or an Abby Wambach, who's sort of a real target forward type, you know. And I wonder if it changes how you play and, and also having – uh, on the other wing, somebody in Sophia who plays as striker as much as she does winger, as now you do a little more too with Chicago. You know, is is mm -hmm. is the playing style of that front three now with this national team different from how it used to be? Um, I mean, I I think that you could say it is a little different. I think that all of us are different players, um, but I think too, like Cat, it has the ability. I think personally to be. A hold up nine too and she has the ability to drop into the pocket so um and then yeah I think with Soph and I you do see that in our club environments that we do like to come inside and a little bit higher on the line and we can play as a nine too so I think um it's just good that we can all kind of interchange and like I said before I think it's important that we now um get on the same rhythm when we do have that interchange thank you Thanks, Jonathan. Does anyone else have any questions for Mal? If you do, raise your hand. If you don't, she's uh, hungry and she wants to eat some lunch, and then she has some errands to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have a few more. Let's go to Jen Hildreth. Go ahead, Jen. I feel guilty now. Gosh, I'm not going to keep No, 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 no I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> You're all good. Um, hey Mal, uh, great to see you. It's been so much fun watching you play. Um, really seems like you are just in a great spot. Um, I'm curious, obviously there's a lot of attention on, I think this attacking group in particular, as we look toward qualifying and roster size, how to get cut down. How do you sort of drown out all that noise? And, and do you feel any of the stress of knowing that, you know, that there are so many talented players on this roster and, and, you know, you're trying to do your best to, make sure you get your spot and you'd also be a great teammate. So how do you balance all of that? Yeah. I mean, to be completely honest, this is the first time that I've kind of like thought about that <laughs> answering this question. Um, obviously there is a lot of talent within the, the front 
um, line and the forwards. But I think it's just important just to overall, like we all have a goal and that goal is to win and that goal is to um, keep the standard high. And I think if everyone does that, I think that um, you kind of see that translate into your individual performance. So yeah, I feel like that's kind of like the way I would look at it um, is just just seeing and tr- buying into the overall goal that we have as a team. And um, just last one for me, how, how would you say some of the um, ups and downs have been for you and in, in your growth as you've gotten from when we always remember, you know, for so long it was Mal, one of the youngest to do this, <laughs> the youngest to be that. Now you've moved on, still, still not old by any means, mm-hmm. but moved on from that role. Um, and how would you kind of look back on, on what the ups and downs have been like and, and what you've learned from them and have make you who you are right now? Yeah, I think the number one word or the best word that I could use is just I'm thankful for them. Um, I'm thankful for all the downs that I have had because I feel like it was the adversity that I have that I needed Um, and not saying that there's not going to be adversity in the future but I feel like I grew so much as like a player and I think most importantly I grew more as a person so um, yeah I just I would say like I'm thankful for them and um, I also now have experienced them and kind of know know how to like handle certain things um so yeah great thank you thanks jen let's go to jen's broadcast partner julie fowdy go ahead julie hi mal hi i'm good how are you good um i know we've talked about this before but i feel like with every cap and camp your growth is exponential um, and in terms of now being one of the veteran players on this group. And so with so, so few uh, veteran teammates around you, wh- what, is, what has been the evolution on the leadership side for you? And where, where do you feel uh, your comfort level is with that? Yeah, I think um, I, I said the other day, like with experience comes like leadership. So I think with the experience that I do have, I feel like I am in a comfortable position to kind of like lead. And that might be, and obviously I think that's going to be different than the way like Kelly leads or the way like Lindsay leads. Um, So yeah, I think it's still like a learning experience for me, but um, I don't know. I just feel like um, the group's like in a good place, but I think ultimately like it's important for us to continue like this legacy of of this team and like what it truly means to be on this team and like what it takes to win. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to carry that on and, um, and just pass it on really. How would you describe your style? Would you say it's a combo of a couple different players or is it more like a different player you've watched maybe lead this team in the past, um, with a group you've been with? Um, yeah, I feel like it's, I mean, I, I would say, like, Kelly's, like, very, like, vocal, um, and you can, like, see that, and I would say for me, I don't necessarily think, like, I'm the very, like, vocal person, like, off the field, but I would say, like, on the field, like, that's when, like, shit needs to get done, basically, and, like, I feel comfortable, <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel comfortable, like, that's the standard, and that's, like, I am expecting my teammates to hold me accountable to that standard and um, for me to do the same to them. So, yeah, I feel like it's more like on the field, that vocal leadership, and then off the field, I'm just kind of being me, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> 